If you go kayak fishing, you better take long freaking pants. <laughs> Do not take shorts, because this is what's going to happen. <laughs> Pues vamos a ir aquí a las tunas, estamos en un punto que se llama Miramar, más o menos como unas 5 millas retirado. Mamón, ahí vienen, ahí vienen, ahí vienen a comer, eh. ahí, ahí pasaron las tunas. ¡Vámonos! ¡Cuca! My first tuna ever. Tuna number one, kayak fishing. Tuna número uno, valió la pena, ¿no? La... Hay un pinche calambre en la verga. <risa> Esto era. Ahí está, ahí está. Venga, tú, ¿eh? Ahí está. I have always been wanting to go fishing on a kayak and I have never ever be done it before because I didn't know anybody that would actually guide me and take me. Juan de Dios introduced us to Ricardo and it's taking about an hour or so to set up all this equipment so that we can just get going. Today we're going to be targeting yellowfin tuna, that's the main target. We brought a bunch of squid in little chunks. Uh, we're going to be using a tiny little circle, circular hook, size number one or two. And I have this uh, Shimano Tiago, I mean Stella, set up with a nice jig. If I don't catch anything with a jig, that's when we're going to start using the squid that we have. We're pretty much prepared. We have eyes, we have a bag for the fish that we, we, we're going to catch. We have another cooler up in the front with Gatorades and waters. So we have a radio and a phone just to make sure we're safe all, at all times. Este es el, el seguro. Quita el seguro. Lo pones. Y estos son los pedales. Entra. Listo. Ya empiezas a pedalear. Dice que tengo reversa. ¿Cómo le doy reversa? ¿Para otro lado? Ah, aquí está forward. Y este reversa. ¿Para dónde vamos, Ricky? Pues vamos a ir aquí a las tunas. Estamos en un punto que se llama Miramar. 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 Se llama aquí. Es un punto que está más o menos como unas 5 millas retirado. Y, y pues vamos a terquearle a ver qué pasa. It seems like today we're going to have really great wind conditions. At least that's what uh, Windy said. So I hope he wasn't, he wasn't lying this time and that we can have really perfect wind conditions so that we can land at least a couple of tunas or one each. If I can land one, I'll be super happy. This is actually my first trip on a kayak. It can be a beginner's luck. See, we were listening to the radio and people keep saying that they're catching decent sized tunas with uh, squid and uh, they're actually using that uh, dead sardines as well we're already like about five miles out and uh we're still like half a mile to where we have to go to our final destination to where we're going to start fishing so we're, we were taking a little break what i noticed is that once you get going uh your legs start kind of like getting numb so we usually we take a little break put our feet down into the water, cool off a little bit because the sun's super hot. Ahí le tira pa, pa tu lado izquierdo, ahí, ahí va la... Mamón, ahí vienen, ahí vienen, ahí vienen a comer, eh. ahí, ahí pasaron las tunas. Okay. Ahí están comiendo ya. ¡Juca! ¡Vámonos! ¡Juca! <laughs> we just got here and I already got a tuna. Llegando. Woohoo. Chinga tu madre. As soon as we got here, uh, Ricardo told, told me that uh, they were biting. They were uh, eat, feeding right on top of the water everywhere. I didn't see them. I'm actually tired. <laughs> <laughs> We just freaking pedal eight miles. And, uh, but as soon as we got here, I, I just freaking got one on the line. So that's good. I've never done this before. So hopefully I can get it on, on board. Puka! También allá? 
Oh, se soltó. This feels way, way different because you're not standing up or sitting on a chair. You're actually on a whole different uh, angle fighting this thing. And then, I, like I said, I just paddled for eight miles to get here. So I'm actually wearing out already. This is why it's called sport fishing, you know? Oh, I see it right there. See? There it is. <laughs> My first tuna ever. There it is. No manches. Okay, let's go. <laughs> ¿Dónde le echamos o okay? qué? Ahí atrás en la bolsa o le echamos acá si quiere. A ver, pues. Hazme un paro. Tuna number one. Tuna number one, kayak fishing. ¿Te he hecho para allá? Ándale. Listo. Uh. Tuna número uno, valió la pena, ¿no? La... Hay un pinche calambre a la verga. <risa> Esto era. Ahí está, ahí. Venga, tú, <risa> Ah, el micrófono. Simón, ya se hundió ni pedo. Oh. Ahí va abajo, no lo podemos alcanzar ya, ¿no? No, ya no. Hey. Dos aguas y un get ready. Ay, güey, me está dando un pinche calambre. Venga, yo aquí la panza. Vamos que, vamos que. I don't know, to start working out daily. <laughs> if you're gonna go, if it's your first day kayak fi or kayak fishing, I recommend you staying close to short. Unless you have a lot of boats around, like we do right now, so that you can ask uh, somebody to take you back. Because it is kind of not too good. Espérate, espérate. Hook up. A uno, Ricky. Te dije, están a 150 mil. ¡Ay, güey! A la verga. <laughs> ok, I got the second... Uh, second tune on the line. I got to the spot where I saw a lot of things on my screen. A lot of marks. So I decided to start chumming and give it line. I started, I started feeding line so that it can go deep because they were like about 150 feet deep. So what Ricardo was telling me is that uh, it's always a little bit harder to get it, uh, to catch these tunas on, 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 a, on a boat or, or on a panga and any kind of motor, in, motor boat because they actually, what's it called? Because they're always making noise. And we're not making any noise at all. ¿La vamos a soltar o la quieres? <laughs> okay. Beginner's luck. <laughs> no, but I, guess, I, 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 I have always done this. I have done this many, many, many times in the past already on a panga and on a boat. Where we find them on like uh, deep, down deep. And then we start feeding line all down all the way to where they get to 150 feet deep. And then I start chumming little by little bait on this side, on the right side. So it can start going down. And then by the time he gets back there, I mean, well, yeah, way back there where my bait is, a big chunk of bait, that's exactly where the tuna are feeding, and boom, that's how we land these ones. And there it is, look how beautiful it is. Listo. 
Su pinche madre, la verga. Caigo. Sí. Y yo ya no quería. Sí, Están <risa> como a 150 pies, güey. Sí. Simón. Aquí donde mismo se miran. Dice que ahorita nos va a jalar a los dos, Dani. Está ahí un cabo ahí para amarrarnos y nos vamos dormidos tú y yo, güey. ¿Eh? Ahí lo trae el Dani. <risa> I'm getting a lot of marks at uh, about like 150 to 200 feet deep in between that area and we are about 400 feet deep so I don't go all the way to the bottom I'm just going to the about 100 feet mira ahí está algo no es un pinche tiburón ese allá una tortuga ok ah no trae lentes tú ya está grande esa madre Hook up. A uno, Ricky. Y el pico. A nice Dorado and a couple of tunas, not a bad day at all for my first day on a kayak. Es que me dio un chingo de marca, güey. Esta mar estaba piti piti, pip, 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 pip. Y luego todavía estaban volando unos voladores. Como te dije, mira, aquí hay unos voladores. Dije, a ver qué hay, le tiré y pácatelas. I should land it a nice Dorado. Overall, it was a great experience for me. It was my first time kayak fishing, and Ricardo took us to a great uh, place where we caught some fish. Uh, on our way back, we even caught a Dorado that I wasn't even expecting it. And right now, Ricardo is actually uh, cooking for us some of the fish that we caught today. Part of safety is just looking at your wind conditions, water currents, and what's gonna happen through the day so that you can make it back safe. And I hope you guys really like this video. If you guys do, make sure to subscribe. Hit the little bell button so you guys can get alerts every single time we post. We're going to be actually guiding people in Cabo San Lucas area with kayak fishing tours. And uh, if you guys are really interested, please head, hit, head us up. Send us a text message or an email and we'll be more than happy to guide you on a kayak fishing tour.